Hey guys, welcome and today we're going to be doing a short morning sequence to get your energy levels up. So join me on the mat and come into a cross comfortable cross-legged position. Put your hands on your knees, roll your shoulders up and over from your ears, chest open and close your eyes for a moment here. Take a deep inhale and exhale through your mouth. Two more like this, deep inhale and exhale, feel your sit bones grounded in the mat, spine is long, one more energizing breath in, and this time exhale through the nose, and keep this breath pace as we move our right ear towards our right shoulder, stay here for one breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale to come back to center and exhale to the left, left ear on left shoulder, feeling the stretch along the right side of the neck. Inhale and exhale. Inhale back to center, open your eyes and now bring your arms up above your head, interlace your fingers, stretch out your entire torso, look up, inhale. And exhale, release the right hand on the mat and stretch over the left side of the body. Inhale to lengthen, stretch out your left hand. And exhale to fall deeper. Now inhale back to centre. And exhale to the left side, left hand on the mat, right arm goes over your ear. And stretch here for one breath. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Now inhale back to center and we're going to come into a twist. So put the left hand on the right knee and look over your right shoulder. One breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Twist deeper. And then inhale through center and come into the other side. Right hand on left knee. Look over your left shoulder and a deep breath. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to twist. And now inhale back to centre and let's move breath to movement. So right hand on the mat, inhale and exhale. Inhale through centre, left hand down and exhale. Inhale through centre and left hand, right knee. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to twist. Inhale through centre and exhale, right hand, left knee. Lengthen and exhale to twist. And now inhale, come back through center and then slowly come and find yourself into a tabletop position. So your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees, your chest is strong and open, arms engaged. And then inhale, drop your belly, arch your back, look up and exhale, push through all 10 fingers and come into a cat. Two more like this. Inhale, look up, open your chest, and exhale, come in to cat, look towards the belly button. And once more, inhale, open your chest, and this time as you exhale, look towards your belly button, press into the tops of your feet and lift your knees off the mat, stabilizing the core. Two breaths here, inhale, and exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale, drop the knees, keep your hips where they are, and then just walk your hands out in front of you and come into a puppy pose. So relax the forehead on the mat, feel the stretch along each shoulder. If you're feeling already open, stay in the shoulders. You can bring your chin towards the mat and your chest. Two deep breaths here, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, wherever you are, walk your hands back underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, and this time push all the way back into downward facing dog. So you can pedal out your feet here, look towards your toes, drop your shoulders from your ears, maybe bring one foot behind the other, stretch out the hips on the right side, come back through center, left foot behind right, stretch out the left hip, 
through centre and find stillness in downward facing dog. Hold here just for one quick breath, inhale and exhale. On the next inhale, bring the right leg up behind you, bend the knee and stack your right hip on top of the left and just make some slow leg circles. So circle your knee in one direction two times and then come back in the other direction. And then straighten your leg out and simply bend your knee and straighten, also opening the hip. And one more time. And as your leg is straightened, bring your hip square to the mat and bring your knee to your right elbow. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, bring your right foot in between your hands at the top of the mat. Release your left knee onto the mat and then lift your chest up off your knee. Gaze up. Inhale here, lengthen your torso. And exhale, maybe fall a little bit deeper. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale, fall deeper, feeling the stretch along the left psoas. Inhale, lengthen. And this time, exhale, bring your hands to either side of your right foot. Bring your hips back. Flex your right foot, look up, straighten your spine, and exhale, fall over your right leg. One breath here, inhale, and exhale. On the next inhale, come back up, plant your hands um, in front of your right foot, come into plank position, and then come down into chaturanga. Push forward for upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Head like the feet here, and then we'll slowly start on the left side. So bring your toes to touch in the middle of the mat, and lift your left leg up and behind you. Open out your hip, bend your knee, and then make some slow circles with the left knee in the air, two times in one direction, and then in the other direction. Slowly come back with a straight left leg, and bend your knee and straighten. This is working the glutes. Bend and straighten. Last time. And straighten. And on the next inhale, square off your hips to the mat. Hands strongly pressing against the mat. Bend the left knee and bring it towards the left elbow. Push back up. And now knee to nose. And up. And now bring your left foot in between your hands at the top of the mat, chest open, and drop the right knee. Now bring your hands up above your head, and breathe, inhale to lengthen your torso, and exhale, fall a little bit deeper. Inhale to lengthen, and exhale, fall deeper. And on the next inhale, bring your hands on either side of your left foot, push your hips back, Flex your left foot and then look forward and follow the left leg for one breath. Inhale and exhale. And then next inhale, come back forward, plant your hands, step back to plank and this time hold plank for one breath. Inhale and exhale. And now inhale, lift the right leg up high and exhale, plank. And then left leg. And plank one more time each side, right leg and plank, and then lift and plank, and now release your knees at either side of the mat. Slowly push back to a child's pose and rest here for a few moments. As you breathe, maybe feel that your heart rate is pumping, maybe you feel some more energy moving throughout your body. That's good, and just bring some more energy into your body, some breaths. Inhale, feel your chest expand. And exhale, sink your hips a little bit deeper. Inhale. And exhale. On the next inhale, come back into tabletop position. Shoulders over wrists. Tuck your toes under and come back into downward facing dog. And then this time, lift your right leg high and bring it all the way through in between your hands at the top of the mat. 
no lunge position, core strong, and come up into a high lunge. And we're going to do some dynamic lunges. So, on the inhale, bring your arms up and around and bend the left knee. And then inhale and bend. Two more times. Inhale and bend. Last time, inhale and bend. Come all the way back up into your high lunge. And then come into a warrior two on this side. Right foot facing forward, left foot 45 degree, gaze over your right hand, chest open, inhale here, and exhale. Inhale, flip the right hand into the reverse warrior, stretching out the right side of the body. Inhale, and exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale, windmill your hands down, and either side of your right foot, Step back into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Good job. Bend your knees one at a time, press your heels into the mat, and let's get ready to do the same on the left side. So inhale, your left leg up high, and exhale, bend your knee and bring it in between your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale, stabilize your core, come up into a high lunge. And exhale, find your stance. Now inhale, bring your arms up and around. And exhale, bend your knee. Inhale here. And bend. Two more, like this. Inhale. And bend. One more, inhale. And bend. Now inhale here, and exhale, come into warrior two. Gaze over the left hand, pelvis tucked in, chest open, gaze strong. Inhale here, and exhale, maybe bend a bit deeper on the left side. Inhale, and exhale, flip the left palm and come into reverse warrior. This time stretching out the left side of the body. Gaze up to your left hand, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Windmill your hands down to the side, each side of your left foot. Step back into plank, and this time just push back into downward facing dog. Head like the feet here. And then slowly come onto your tiptoes, bend your knees, look in between the top of your two hands, and then just hop forward and come into this. Good job. So, now we'll do one more core exercise here. So, bring your hands to the back of your knees, open up your chest, lengthen your spine, look in front of you, and lift your knees off the mat. Hands forward, inhale, and exhale. Maybe straighten one leg, and then the next leg, and inhale, and exhale. Release your feet. Hug your knees for a second, feel the stretch along the back of your neck. Inhale. And exhale, release your back. Now slowly onto the mat for a bridge pose. So bring your heels so you can touch them with your fingers towards your buttocks. And then just feel your entire back flat on the mat. Gaze up, tuck your tailbone in, and then slowly push your hips off the mat. If it feels comfortable for you, shimmy your shoulders under yourself and then just interlace your fingers, pushing your hips further into the sky. Two breaths here, inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. Release your hands, release your lower back on the mat, bring both knees into your chest and just rock from side to side, massaging the lower back and releasing any tension. And now stay here, and bring your right um, ankle over your left knee, and just come into a figure four position. Feel the stretch along the right side of the glutes, flex the right foot, and then push the left knee in towards you for a deeper stretch. Two deep breaths here, you can close your eyes, inhale. And exhale, push a little bit deeper. Inhale, and exhale. 
Inhale, swap sides. Left ankle on the right knee. Flex both feet. Your hands either come behind your, um, your leg, your thigh, or around your shin, whatever feels comfortable for you. And two deep breaths here. You can close your eyes again. Inhale. And with the exhale, push a little bit deeper. Inhale. And bring your leg closer to your chest. Then inhale, straighten out both legs ahead in front of you. Bring your hands to either side, and then just simply drop your legs over to the right side. You can grab a hold of your left big toe, big toe if you want. Gaze over to the left and enjoy a stretch here. Deeply breathe into this twist. Inhale. And exhale. Two more like this. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Now engage your core again and lift your legs back up through center. And now over to the left. Gaze over to the right. And take three deep breaths here. Inhale, maybe grabbing your big toe with your left hand. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Now on the next inhale, bring your legs back up. Bend your knees and just rock and roll up your spine. Three times, massaging your spine, bringing your energy throughout the body. And last time, and land in a comfortable seated position like we did at the beginning. So, take a second just to close your eyes before I leave you to go on to the rest of your day. Let's do some of those shoulder strokes again. So bring your shoulders up to your ears and just sigh out. And one more like this. And if it feels comfortable for you, bring your hands in front of your chest, open your eyes, and then bring your chin towards your chest and have some gratitude for yourself for showing up today. Namaste.